here we are at Doll Mountain Campground. I'm going to run through the park real quick on a bicycle. So if it's very jumpy, very windy, it is what it is. I'm going to try to maintain 10 miles or less per hour. Doll Mountain is in LJ, Georgia. Very nice campground. These are sites one and two to the right. Again, just going to do a quick drive through on a bicycle. This is number two. That's number four. It's a very hilly campground. You don't really have any access to Carter's Lake. I didn't mention that Doll Mountain Campground is on Carter's Lake. The only access you really have to the lake is at the boat ramp. A little more crowded down here at this cul-de-sac. There's a fellow bicycle rider. It's a small campground. There's site number six. Number five. There's number four. We have some pull-throughs. And some are back ends. You can check all that out on their website. Just this past year, they redid the bathrooms. They're very nice, at least these bathrooms. There's two sets of bathrooms at the campground that have showers. Very nice. Stop sign here. The entrance to the park's right down there. You have speed bumps throughout see if we can avoid those not crash there's the dump station the dump station is probably one of the weaker parts of the, it's only one dump station these over here to the right that's where the camp hosts stay These first spots right here to the left are tent sites. You walk down to them. There's number 21 back in. 22 there. 23. And 24. How exciting. Again, I just want to do a quick little blow through. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> mm. 
That's 25. 26. This is 27 through 33. It's a cul-de-sac. These are probably the best if you're camping with people because they're close together. But they're all nice. I guess with balcony type structures. It's just a nice, clean, quiet campground with access to Carter's Lake if you like to boat, rent a boat. However, that's very expensive. Something like $100 an hour or something to rent a pontoon. But they do have a boat ramp here at the park. To the left here is more tent sites, primitive, no power, maybe water, I'm not sure. You can check that again on the website. Here is the boat docks and the dumpsters. Pretty exciting. There's the boat ramps down to Carter's Lake. Sorry for the bumpiness. Again, I'm on a bicycle at the mercy of Mother Nature. There's a lot of things to do in LJ. They have a Walmart, restaurants, even have a movie theater. Uh, they have an Apple Festival certain times of the year. Let's try a little bit. There's another bathhouse. This one has not been updated. It's pretty run down. Maybe this winter they'll update it. There's another tent sign over there. And there's the lake. Another speed bump. Hold on. <laughs> it's very hilly here. It's just beautiful. And this will be sites 39 through 46. I believe all these are back ends. Pretty spacious sites. Most are on concrete pads. If not all. There is no sewer hookups. It's all power. 50 amp, 30 amp. And water. Just a kind of a laid back park. 
like I said, there's not really access from the sites to the lake. But it's a nice calm lake, Cars Lake. You can kayak on it, canoe if you don't have a boat. And I believe that's all the sites. You can go all the way down to the end. And there's, a, I guess, a community or, or a, a group campsite area there that they rent out to groups. And it's a nice little walk down through here. We'll go down through here. It is very hilly. But if you have a big group of people, maybe a family reunion or something, you might want to rent that area. It has two PP buildings and then tent sites. I don't know if they have water or not. There are several tent sites here to the right. Tent sites 47 to 50, it's walk-in sites. You park here. And then at the ends, 51 through 57, again, from what I understand, they're group sites. But it's nice to walk. We walk our dogs through here. I think it's about a mile and a half, two miles from the beginning to the end. So, like I said, not a very big park, but a very quiet park. And Carter's Lake is a nice, clean lake. If you like to ski, the water's usually calm. Yeehaw! Big hill. We're moving on now. Most of the sites are pretty shaded. And like I said, Walmart is literally 15 minutes away, maybe 20 at the most. And they have restaurants there. It's just a nice place to visit, get away. It's very beautiful. However, the bugs are pretty bad in the morning, kind of bad in the evening. If you have a problem with bugs, you might bring you some type of shelter to set up to that screen. So you have a place to sit so you don't get ate up by the bugs. So this is the end. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. It's a new channel and then we're going to try to grow this thing. Hope you have a great day. Be safe.